Hello friends, I'm glad you paused to hear the voice of God. I hope you would be blessed by today's word. I would also like to tell you about uh, our website. You can get into our website. The, the name is on the screen and you can read uh, my sermons in English and you can also subscribe and get our daily devotions written by me it would come to your inbox every day you can get you can hear the voice of God uh, through these devotions which is called daily delight devotions every day you can subscribe it's user friendly and you can also get into my personal blog and get to read my uh, articles every day and you can also follow me on Facebook uh, if you diligently hear the voice of God if you are serious today I'm sure you can hear the prophetic voice of God through this word God bless you Hi friends, I have a very important teaching for you today so I want you to really uh, keep your Bible open and then listen to my teaching today. The Bible says in Psalm 91 uh, verse 2 and 3, I'll read that for you. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for it is he who delivers you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. Uh, these words, the snare of the fowler has always uh, uh, made me think in the world that we live today and uh, having moved with a uh, lot of youth during my ministry because I was involved in the youth ministry and I really know what the, what the Bible says about the snares of the fowler. The, the other there's another translation which says the snares of the trapper. The moment we get uh, saved, when you know, youngsters get saved, there's a lot of excitement there when they go to a meeting, a revival meeting or a worship festival or whatever or when they read a testimony, they surrender their hearts to God and there's so much of excitement and sometimes uh, the anointing which was there in that particular meeting where you got saved and when you heard a particular message from an anointed preacher that anointing stays with you for a while maybe even for a week it stays the joy stays with you for a while and even you know there's a kind of vibration in your body and you feel the presence the tangible presence of God, of God for a long time but after that friend after that but when every Everything settles in and when you get into this world when you get into this world filled with wickedness where the devil is ruling that's when you got to be very careful you that's when you cannot just let your guard down and and you and you know uh, you be careless and uh, you just uh, the, you take life easy then it's going to be very tough because the Bible says that he comes behind you roaring like a lion when he, when he tries roaring like a lion and when he fails there and when he finds you you know really smart then he comes to you like he comes to, comes to in the garden of Eden like a snake so the snare of the fowler you've got to be really very careful and there are a few things I want to speak with you uh, you got to it, it, it's nothing about you know it's nothing about you saying that you know I'll you cannot use the double barrel, barrel gun with a devil or an AK-47 with the devil I mean he the, this is not against any physical forces this is against the spiritual wickedness in high places yeah I, I really want to speak with each one of you today come on you just stay there and listen to me there are there are some people when you just let your guard down and that's when you have opened the doors for Satan and and you have given him a foothold maybe be it marriage or be it your own life or personal life you you have given a foothold to the devil and that's why he's taking control of your mind he's taking control of your marriage he's con he's taking control of your temper so we've got to be very careful we've got to smell the the tactics the devices the evil devices of the devil and we've got to be very careful now how do I do that now if you are careless in reading the Bible and if you are careless in having a regular commun communion with God then that's where you fail to you know really identify the schemes of the devil recently uh, last year when we were uh, getting ready for a particular uh, meeting 
just when uh, when we we just had an, a week for the meeting and the and the and the, the week before that we started putting up banners and we started distributing gospel tracts and we put a real big banner with all the the photographs of the speakers and we were doing this with a lot of prayers okay we are do we were doing this with a lot of frosting and prayers and that particular sunday uh, uh, we uh, we were giving the gospel tracts to the church people just when the service was you know we on and it was not over i was speaking to the people the the, the people in the neighboring locality they had uh, uh, called the police they had called the local leaders and we are living in the outskirts of uh, hyderabad and uh, there was lot of commotion that day and they said that we should not have any kind of you know we should close everything and actually they wanted to take away all our music instruments but then but god protected us and uh, what we did was uh, we had we held the meeting in another function hall okay now that that was that was not the only story uh, th this happened uh, when we were when we were uh, planning for bigger meetings you know anointed camps and all that when we were conducting those kind of uh, meetings these kind of uh, things were there, the attacks of the enemy were there this is how for the past nearly 7 years we have been uh, running our church in the midst of terrible storms and trials and uh, persecutions and humiliations and and i don't know what and not this is how we have been and i think you know we have learned to really smell the enemy the smell the plans of the enemy and survive in the midst of storm and god has really strengthened us i should say you know through these afflictions and all that god has strengthened us and i am able to sit here and speak with you about all this so the the, the next year we, because of all the problems in the previous year we started praying for this for god's strategy regarding everything when the people of israel when they were going to a uh, deal with with a with a wall like jericho and with with the people like the jericho people god gave them a real plan and it was joshua who had waited upon god so in a, when a, when the enemy attacks you god keeps a real uh, servant of god for you a church leader whatever god gives you protection and god gives you advices through them so your spiritual ears have to be open you cannot be careless and you cannot be proud okay when god sends you when god sends you an anointed person to speak with you young people listen so what happened was uh, we, we were praying and uh, uh, that particular we were we were all together as a church and we were praying and that time the spirit of the lord came over me and when i was praying i said lord father i i i, I pray that that when the the demons in this area should not be able to see the banners and it and the demons should not come to know about the plans of this meeting and when the gospel tracts are distributed and when the banners are put up lord you lord you confuse the devil and you blindfold his eyes and this you know really brought anointing on all the people who were praying with me and and very 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 uh, passionately we started praying and we and we and we prayed over all the banners and said lord you blindfold the devil lord the devil should not see these banners friend you know that's what the prayer that we did and we anointed every banner we anointed and we and the church members prayed of the gospel tracts and we distributed now what i'm trying to say is it's not by power it's not by might but by the holy spirit hallelujah you've got to be very careful when you pray like this my dear, my dear friend my dear um, my dear sister i'm speaking with you i i i have i get a lot of uh, um, messages emails about uh, about uh, about uh, about the children protection of children the parents write to me i mean there's there's nothing to be talked about you got to pray the this kind of battle should be done on your knees and as a servant of god i'm giving you advices and and i'm giving you the ways that you should do it the battle should be done by you you got to protect your husband's eyes from the from the devil's schemes uh, 
even if he's got the most beautiful girl sitting next to his cabin when you are praying at home god will protect your husband from the snare of the fowler there are so many things which is happening out there adulterous relationships relationships outside marriage and and and, and, and youngsters having relationships affairs you know like left right and center without a, the without a wink of an eye this these sort of horrible things are happening but my dear brothers and my dear sisters how do we protect our family how do we protect our children how do we protect our life how do we protect our mind from the snare of the fowler we've got to have a close relationship with god and we've got to hear the voice of god listen to me in the second book of kings chapter 6 verse 8 we see about we we read about king of uh, syria who kept you know attacking the people of israel and this guy you know had a big army and he was attacking the people of israel but the people of israel had a big god give god a mighty hand of praise you 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 the enemy may be attacking you maybe you've got some neighbors who are picking up a quarrel with you maybe you've got a court case and maybe maybe you know you are on you are in the, on the, you are doing the right things uh, but all kinds of false uh, accusations have been coming against you now how do you how do you know you know uh, uh, how do you uh, meet all this uh? I'm speaking to someone out there. There's one girl, a Hindu girl, who said, uh, "Sister, you know, the, uh, this property belongs to me, but the, the enemy is trying to take it away." And there's so much of things which is happening. I really don't know what to do. I just told her one thing. I said, "Just surrender everything to God and keep praying. Keep praying. Surrender your property to God and keep praying. Don't, don't uh, fight with it. Yes, you can do all the necessary uh, legal things. Do all the ne- necessary legal things." if you ought to do but but final judgment is uh, is given by god amen hallelujah are you listening to me are you listening to me are you listening to me just just pause and just think uh, just you've been too busy you've been running you've been running you know around looking at people to help you but i want to tell you your help comes from god You know this guy this uh, king, Syria king he was trying to attack the people of Israel but God sent his beloved son Elisha and he sent them and he was telling him and he was directly talking to Elisha and saying go and tell king the king of Israel that this fellow this king of Israel he is having a putting a very wicked strategy and he's going to attack them in this place north and that place south so whenever this fellow this king of Syria he was m- making plans but it was squashed by God and God was protecting the people of Israel. The Bible says in 2 Kings chapter 6, uh, if you read from verse 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, if you're free, just after after you uh, cl- after I close this message, just don't go, you know, don't uh, take your popcorn and go and and just go go away carelessly or whistle and go carelessly chewing the gum. No, if you want a remedy for your life, take the Bible and just read what did sister say? What is this uh, she's talking about about Elisha? When you give attention to like like that god will give attention to you give attention to the word of god don't be careless don't be now sitting and sitting and then carelessly listening and then waiting for a prophetic word don't just l- l- wait to hear some prophecies prophet when, pro- when you don't have to wait for a prophetic word when you are a child of god the prophetic word will come to you wherever you you are you don't have to bend your head and go to every tom dick and harry to have a prophecy you will get you will be conned be very careful so god used elisha and and squashed all the plans of the enemy so this guy syria the syria king was very angry and he asked his people what do i have a spy in my house is there is, is there a spy here who is doing this i think i have a spy in my house and that's when one of his servants he said said listen to me boss it's not we are not spying but there's one man called elisha even if you plan inside your bedroom he knows it that's a kind of relationship he has with god and then the syria the king of syria he plans and he brings his chariots and horses to attack elisha and uh, elisha servant when he comes early in the morning he looks at the big army of the enemy the chariots and horses which has come against listen just to listen to uh, to attack one man that fellow the syrian king has sent horses and chariots that's a, please, please listen to me the devil is afraid of you 
you are so afraid of the devil but i want to tell you something the devil is afraid of you an anointed man a double when he, when you have the double portion of anointing on you the devil is actually afraid of you so you don't have to be afraid of the devil so he, the the servant came and said oh boss look at the enemy, um, enemies that are waiting to kill you so elisha said a small prayer said lord open the eyes of my servant and when god opened the eyes of uh, elisha servant he saw the army the chariots the fire chariots of god and he was encouraged and then what happens next is something really you know really amazing god he said elisha says another prayer he says lord you just blindfold all these enemies just confuse them bring confusion in there but blind them and bring confusion lord and when he when god brings confusion so they didn't have to have a big war elisha just directs them in a different way and and you know he does it very wisely so we've got to have really godly wisdom you know there's no there's no use you know going and fighting with your husband or going going and head head strong you know having a confrontation like that wisely handle the issue wisely handle the issue amen i'm, I'm i i just want to uh, you know finish this message by giving um, certain things uh, the enemy wants to kill steal kill and destroy you that's what the hunter wants to do and the hunter is very skillful and he's going and he wants and he's going to pursue the whatever he wants to kill he'll pursue it and he will he sharply see that you know he he kills it and that's his only aim the aim of the hunter is to kill whatever he is pursuing so you got to be very careful and he uses you know cunning tricks he uses so we've got to be very careful and uh, what are the snares of the enemy what are what are, what are the things that uh, you know the, the the enemy plans against you he will he will attack your mind he is not going to come with two horns he is going to come with wrong doctrines he is going to tell you hey it's okay if you don't go to church it's okay it's okay you can just sit down and watch the uh, go watch uh, the, uh, the sermon on uh, through the e church you, you just got a lot of internet now you've got your ipad you've got your iphone you just got to sit down in your house you just wear your uh, shorts and uh, chew your gum and you know have your coffee and have your legs popped up on your table with no reverence and then you can just watch your worship it's okay it's okay you don't have to just take a bus you don't have to take your car and go to the church you can just watch the service in the e church that's the that's the the lie of the enemy and then the next is he he, he stops you from church that's it he stops you from fellowshipping with the, your your uh, you know so brothers and sisters where you get encouragement the church church was meant for that and you have a spiritual father the pastor and the pastor's wife and the family the, don't judge them don't judge everybody and say they are like this and they are like that don't be judgmental there are pastors with a father heart and there are churches which are like you know real the real tabernacles of god if you seek god if you seek wholeheartedly god will take you to the right place so don't don't keep judging and don't have a very uh, bitter attitude towards the things of god and then those are the the, the plans of the enemy if you want to listen to me and set your set right your life i leave it to you these teachings are, are given by god to me to to uh, to correct his children and take them and take them to the house of god so you've been neglecting church for long and that's the enemy's tactics maybe you are annoyed with someone inside the church being annoyed with someone inside the church should not stop you from going to church you go to church because it is a, it is a house of god so you go for your nourishment spiritual nourishment then the other thing is Uh, when you have ungodly relationships and when you get friendly with people outside marriage or people outside your faith when you have relationship with pagan worshipers and then the devil tells you hey you can convert them you cannot convert them they will convert you and moreover in the first place you are disobeying because god said do not be unequally yoked so you got to be very careful who you are moving with first he will he will remove you from the church that's a snare second thing i told you that he will bring wrong doctrines into your head and then the mind is attacked first because if once he attacks the mind then that's over then ungodly relationships greed for money and then misunderstanding quarrels and fights 
and fear these are the few things which i this is not an exhaustive list uh, but the few things which i have just given which are the snares of the devil friend most important i just want to finish with saying this is an awesome scripture you know you cannot uh, be naive and you cannot be foolish all the time we've got to be wise and we've got to make some wise decisions okay in the world people who don't go to church the the worldly people are so wise and they are so smart why are we so foolish there are you know, some you know, keep on keep on believing people who are you are treating you bad and who are betraying you you go on on and on and on and on you believe them come on come on friend grow up you got to you got to have the wisdom of god and you don't don't be don't allow people to cheat you and fool you you know you are a child of god proverbs chapter 1 verse 21 says it's really beautiful at the head of the noisy streets she cries out at the entrance of the great gates in the city she utters her sayings this is a personification of wisdom okay when it says she the the bible talks about wisdom and understanding okay how long oh nay once will you love being simple minded and scoffers delight themselves in scoffing and fools hate knowledge this is awesome yes you know who hate knowledge who will say hey, i know what i'm doing you don't have to preach to me you know i know what i'm doing i am saved the devil cannot touch me the devil cannot there's no devil you are fooling yourself turn to my reproof behold i will pour out my spirit on you and i will make my words known to you you've got to turn to god you've got to turn to understanding you've got to turn to the lord the prodigal son returned to the lord only then he came to his senses the bible says when you come to your senses return to the lord return to the bible return to the house of god don't be foolish the snares of the devil be careful satan is out to steal kill and destroy i would like to pray for you heavenly father i pray for the one who is watching this message oh god i pray for protection oh god oh master i pray for understanding oh master hallelujah 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 my dear friend you are going through a lot of persecutions in your life uh, i'm speak to, speaking to speaking to someone who's out there and you're even planning to commit suicide you feel like your life is worthless and this is the snare of the devil he wants to snatch your life away and God God has made you listen to this message your life belongs to God you cannot take it away my friend hallelujah today God has got a beautiful you are fearfully and wonderfully made you are fearfully and wonderfully made you have a wonderful mother who's waiting for you you don't have to take your life God has got a beautiful future arranged for you prepared for you and God has got even beautiful things you know ordered for you don't be foolish god says you just surrender your life and i will protect you from the snare of the fowler whatever is whatever it is that you're going through today god can bring you up because his hands are not short and in jesus precious name we pray oh lord amen god bless you until i see you next time